there Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your March 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Before anything else, I do want to apologize for the late uploads on March 2021. It's been a really hectic and very busy um time for me, and I do hope that you understand that. I'll try to make it up to you next month. Um Anyway, this is a general reading and what we are going to be looking at this month is to what are the energies that might be transpiring for you for the month of March 2021 and what are the influences and what can happen and what you might um what challenges you might need to overcome uh things that might be going on at the present moment during the month of March. So please do know that the readings I I do is really more of the energy situations um, that might be happening for your sign and um, this can be very detailed and specifically for you um, it really depends this is still going to be a general reading so it may not be that pinpoint or anything like that you will have to use your own intuition um, to how this is going to be relating to your own situation so just keep a heads up on that um, and this is a very predictive reading, so um, don't be alarmed if it does not resonate with you. It may just mean that this is not the reading for you, and you may take a look on your sun sign reading, moon sign reading, or ascendant sign reading. Anyways, let's take a look on what's happening for you guys for the month of March. Um, you're starting off with a king of swords over here, and... I would say that you are at the point of your life right now or in maybe you are contemplating about certain things it could be that you are thinking about certain ventures in your life i kind of feel that this is you either looking into the past or looking into the future you know are you more inclined on what you have achieved or what are the things that you had in the past or are you inclined to think about more on what is it that I want to have in my life? What is it that I want to achieve? What is it that I want to accomplish? So I kind of feel that, you know, a lot of the Capricorn people are now at the point where in one person is actually thinking too much about the past and one person is looking forward to the future. But the only differences that we are seeing here is that whether you're looking into the past or whether you're looking into the future, you're not exactly doing anything concrete right now. Like maybe in your head and in your mind, you do want to take action. You do want to have something, whether you have your past back or whether you want to have a, a, a future that you are envisioning back in your life. But we're not really seeing you taking any concrete steps at the very least. I don't see any, you know, movement in that area of your life. Maybe um, this is all just in your head, you know, it's all about wishing and it's all about praying. Um, there are things that you have turned your back on is what I'm getting here. You know, maybe you, maybe there are messages that you are also regretting in your life. Um, I'm not really sure if you're entirely regretting certain things in your life, but you're a, you are obviously not pleased with your present situation. There is something that you want to have. There is something that you wanted to to attain, you know. You know, it is something that might be tangible or not, but for you it has some form of value. And um and you have been thinking about this even in the past. You do have the Emperor card over here. Um, signifying our past situation and the emperor card is a very interesting card you know and this goes whether you are in a very career-oriented capricorn or whether it is a love situation uh, personally i used to hate seeing the emperor card in love readings because this exactly means that okay someone really cares for you and maybe you are caring for someone Maybe you're thinking about someone, you have a lot of dreams, a lot of wishes about uh, a particular person in your life, but you're not exactly doing anything. And most of the time, that is really the concern and the problem, you know. 
a lot of women <laughs> and, and even men have this concern when it comes to their love situation like okay you're telling me that this person loves me this person thinks of me but why are they not talking to me why have they not reached out to me you know uh, we have this situation wherein you are thinking about something you're contemplating about something and maybe you have an idea on what you should do what should happen into the situation but you're not doing anything you're just sitting there and hoping for the best and maybe waiting and this is uh, like a bad habit situation as well sometimes because you are so used to waiting and maybe before in the past you had experiences wherein you have waited you did not do anything and things just f fell in your lap and it was you know a sudden streak of luck and maybe the, uh, you are very used to the other person doing everything for you so you're not really used to taking action and that could be the problem because um you have this you have already told yourself or at the very least you have given given yourself some form of limiting belief that if i just wait around here i'm sure this person is going to come along later um or if you're dealing with a with a career setup or something personal you know not real love this could be a situation as well wherein you're not doing anything because you are used to being spoon-fed you know um not exactly being spoon-fed itself but you have this belief that if if it is for me it's going to come to me and sometimes that really happens but there are certain times we're in you know faith and taking action um when someone takes action and at the same time gets an opportunity for something i feel that in in most cases they can actually make it work much better than just waiting for things to happen you know there is a difference when when you are blindly taking action without having the opportunity imagine um imagine opening a locked door and you don't have any key no matter how much you try to open and open that door you ram that door open and open sometimes yeah maybe you can you can break the door with your physical strength with your hard work and sometimes that works that's gonna work right but there are going to be cases in your life wherein you're n you won't be able you won't always be able to break that door unless you have a key so that key is the opportunity like it's your faith that is you know it's a chance that the universe is giving you you have that key are you going to be using that or not and and if you're going to be telling yourself that um but i'm very used to um doing everything by myself and you know ramming the door open but you are a human being don't forget that and you can get hurt and especially if you are the type of person who has been doing all the hard work in relationships or in every aspects of your life there is going to be an element of your life wherein you are going to be tired you know you are going to be ill um there will be a time wherein you won't no matter how strong you are you won't be able to open that door anymore um that strength is lacking and when it comes to relationships that is very much obvious because we're not even doing everything by force when it comes to relationships because we're dealing with emotions and emotions are a lot more fragile our psychological mindset are fragile rather than our physical body so there's a lot of aspects you know th that could be correlating into each of our situation however um the bottom line here is that you are so used to doing one thing to the point we're in you know something is clearly not working out anymore and you have been doing a lot of contemplating you have been doing a lot of juggling decisions you know checking in with the pros and cons you have been doing a lot of waiting and nothing is happening and this is you know um the entrance of this four of swords clearly mentions that because this is um uh, this is actually a Celtic cross spread, but I've laid this I've laid this out like this for you guys, so you will be able to see the card as well. But this 
is the crowning energy of the situation that goes on top of the reading which means that you know this is something that's in your head maybe you have been lazy about certain things or maybe you have done all of the work before and it did not work out you know and you just get tired and you don't want to do anything anymore you don't want to take action you, i just want to relax i just want to rest i don't want to do anything but um the problem here is that you know it makes me feel that what is in your head what is in your feelings and what you're ac exactly doing you know in the physical realm um are all in different aspects you know i want something i wish for something what i'm actually doing are all um different things and they're all misaligned so and i kind of feel that you know you are going to be entering to a point wherein you are going to realize this for some of you you are going to have some form of realization you do have this star card over here giving us some form of you know sudden aha moment sudden insight or this could be a situation wherein um maybe you have just you know maybe yes you have done a lot of of contemplating but it's really more about you re-energizing yourself maybe um, and this is going to be a, a green light situation that tells yourself that okay it's time for me to act it's time for me to stand up again and move forward to work on things that i did not take action on before and um no matter what action that you take i kind of feel that your emotional state of mind you know what you are actually feeling inside of you is going to be going going to be really really important during this time there is something you know you are going to be taking a look on your emotions what you are feeling do you still feel aligned with this type of venture and if you still do i kind of feel that you might be ready to take action even though you have a lot of hesitation so um there's a lot of things going on with you guys because i kind of feel that this might be a very complicated relationship or complicated situation you know uh, it makes me feel that you know it's about someone who has been through a lot of rough edges in their life um had a lot of endings a lot of new beginnings a lot of endings and you're sick and tired of that endings to the point we're in i just don't want to do anything but um truth be told life still goes on and at the end of the day maybe there is a purpose why things happened the way that it did you know and with the star card here there's going to be some form of enlightenment some form of revelation might actually come to you it might be through your dreams you know maybe the things that you have thought um, is going to change you know it, it makes me feel that you know whatever belief that you have put in yourself it is slowly going to crumble it's slowly going to change because uh, for one um, uh, you're you being stubborn is not going to change anything and you know this at the very least you are now aware that me doing nothing is not going to do anything for me no, no progress is going to be seen if i don't do anything and you are aware of that so one way or another you are going to notice what the problem is or um how fate has been with you and now you are now at the point where in you question yourself whether you are going to take action on it or not should i do something about this or not or should i just accept that things are not meant to be or things are just going to be like this forever um so there's going to be a lot of contemplation and for some of you guys i kind of feel that a lot of you guys have been you know stuck in the past or at the very least if you are not stuck in the past it it feels as if time stood still for you for a lot of months or years maybe um and you know it's really hard for you to take action and move forward with things however um whether you are taking action you know or not taking action it's also not making you feel any good you know so i kind of feel that you know you are going to be <laughs> so much there's going to be a lot of frustrations and a lot of headaches you know you are going to be frustrated until you take action 
So at the end of the day, you are seeing that the only way for you to actually move past this phase is to take action and to choose to do some form of effort, choose to do some form of hard work. So um, that is basically what you're seeing here. And as long as you're not taking action, as long as you're not go going to do anything, um, you cannot expect to move forward. And with this, I kind of feel that for a lot of Capricorn people, all you, you know, it makes me feel that this is something that you need to experience, that you need to realize, even though you might just tell yourself that I should have done this um, before, you know, why did I waste a lot of time? But I kind of feel that, you know, sometimes, yes, we might have wasted a lot of time, but we won't be able to learn the lessons that we did if we take in that action earlier on. <laughs> um, maybe last year or so you know we, we won't be able to learn the lessons that we are learning now so there is some form of realizations that we are going to come across this month that if going to make you see things and um and something gets renewed for you whether it is your feelings whether it's a relationship or venture um i don't know but I kind of feel that you are going to come to a point wherein you are going to be more ready with how you face things, you know. You are more ready to face reality. You are now going to be more ready to face the real world and do the hard work, you know. Eventually, this is about you making efforts. So what are the things that you have been taking a pause on in the past and um, you have been very stubborn about i kind of feel that that area of your life is something that is going to change this month and it is something that you are going to pursue you are going to be taking action and it may take some time it may take some effort but i kind of feel that this is ultimately is going to lead you to a more happier life happier venture and this is not just about you know things in the material and physical state of mind but this is going to be giving you a sense of emotional fulfillment and happiness all at the same time and i forgot to mention this earlier but we have here the venus card as the overall energy for this reading which is you know all about our feelings our heart um things that gives us pleasure and um abundance overall you know things that makes us feel good so it's really going to be a matter of you know um if you're trying to to stay stubborn to resist things I kind of feel that this is going to be a month where in, you know, whether how much stubborn you can be, sometimes what you feel, your emotional senses is going to be the one that speaks volumes for you. And eventually we are going to be taking action based on what we feel, what you are feeling all at the same time, Seru. I know that it can be very frustrating for a lot of Capricorn, but I do assure you that if you just follow your heart and stop being stubborn, um, you are going to achieve what it is that you truly desire and what it is that will make you happy at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. If you do want a more personal reading specifically, for your own situation you can do that by booking a session with me through my website check it out in the stars by chrissy.com and i shall see you guys again next month goodbye